Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to look at do while. So let's take a look at what a do while uh, loop is and does. I'm going to declare um, a variable here. Let's say int value equals seven. And I'm going to type do and then open angle, open curly bracket. And after the closing curly bracket that Eclipse just added here, I'm going to type while, um, keyword while round brackets and a semicolon and in the round brackets I'm going to put a condition so let's say while value is less than 8 and let's put a C out in here let's say C out hello that'll do um, now the difference between a, a while loop and a do while loop is that the do while loop um, always executes the stuff in between the curly brackets at least once because it doesn't check the condition until the end so if we run this, it's going to be like an infinite loop. So it's just going to output hello over and over again. But if we change this condition so that it's false, let's say value less than five, which is false, we're still going to get one hello when I run this. So we, we get one hello because it executes this code, then it checks the condition and it will do the loop again if the condition's true. But if the condition's false, then you're still going to get that first iteration of the loop because it's not checking the condition until the end. Let's see how we can use this in a, in a little program. I'm going to declare, well, I'm going to create um, a program here that asks the user to enter their password over and over again until they enter the right password. Let's say here string password equals hello. And um, now this is actually a value that I don't want to change ever in my program. So I'm going to type const in front of string here and what that does is it means that later in the program the value can't be reassigned so I can't do this later on without const I could do this I could change the value later on but with const I can't compile it um, uh, if I try to reassign it it won't compile so let's build this and you see we get an error so um, if you have a value that's not going to change in your variable in your program make it const because then uh, it can't it can't be changed later on in the program and with big programs that can really help get the bugs out of them um, because then you you know that this value is definitely not going to change anywhere you're not going to change it by accident and although i said that uh, variables should be declared as close as possible to where you use them with consts you often declare them somewhere near the top of the file or um, near the, the top of the subroutine or whatever just because it's then you see all your constants in one place and you can change them easily okay so um, we've got our password and let's say see out enter your password let's put a little um, arrow thing in a little um, actually a greater than sign just to make it look like a prompt endler and then I'll declare a string to get the user input. So let's call that input and let's just do a C in get from input. And uh, we'll have an if to check that. So I'll say if, uh, if input equals password, then we can say something else. We can say something else. Let's just copy this C out to save a bit of time, paste it in here and here. And so if the password's right, I'll say password accepted. And if it's wrong, I'll say access denied. Denied. So let's run this and check that it works before we introduce the loop here. So I'm going to build it, build project, check that it builds OK, and run it. And enter your password. So if I type garbage, access denied, and if I type hello, password accepted. Maybe I'll just change that to a flush because then we can type on the same line in the console. Uh, so if we used a while loop to, to try, we want to ask for the password over and over again until the user gets the right password. If I used a while loop to do that, let's, let's see how that would look. So I'm going to say while input is not equal to password like this. Um, I want to say uh, access denied if it's not equal to the password, if they haven't entered the right password. And then 
After that, I'm going to have to ask them for their password again and um, get them to enter it again. So like this. And now I, I want here, um, I don't want to declare another string inside here. C, C++ will let me do this. Normally you can't have two variables of the same name, but if one of the variables is inside another pair of brackets like this, this variable will actually be different to this one. We say that this is masking this one and this, sorry, this only exists within these brackets while this will exist within these brackets. But here we can't actually access this anymore because it's masked by this. Anyway, that's, that's a little diversion. I just wanted to kind of mention that. We, we say that the scope of this variable is these brackets and the scope of this variable is these brackets. That's where these variables exist and can be used. But we don't want to do that really anyway, so I'm just going to get rid of string input here because we can just use this one variable to get the input every time once we've declared it. Uh, so we're going to ask for the password and we're going to check it and say password accepted or access denied. And then while, while the password is still not correct, um, we're going to ask them to enter it again. And let's, let's put, um, yeah, we can get rid of access denied here, I suppose. So we've already said access denied there, but then again, probably, probably the best thing to do here is just get rid of that else. So yeah, so we ask for the password, we get the password. If it's correct, we can say accepted. Otherwise we go into the loop. The loop says access denied, ask for the password again. And if they, en if they enter it correctly, we'll go on to the rest of the program. If they don't enter it correctly, then we're going to do this loop again, because this condition will be true. So one, one thing we could do actually here is just to move this to the end of the loop here. So we could get rid of that. Um, because this loop isn't going to finish until the password's correct. And when the password's correct, then we can just output password accepted. So just by thinking about it a little bit, we can make it look a bit cleaner and get rid of that if. Let's, let's check if that works. So I'm going to run this. I think I got that right. And let's type some garbage. Access denied, more garbage, access denied, etc. And if we type hello, then it works. It's worth checking that it works when you just enter the right password immediately as well. Let's try that and immediately enter hello, password accepted. So this, this program works, but it's, it doesn't look that good because we've got some repeated code here. We've got enter your password twice. We've got the, um, we're getting the input in two different places here as well. And um, that's, that's not really healthy. We'd like to avoid repeated code. Um, and we can do that with a do while. The, the key thing here is that while is only going to execute if the password's not correct. But we want, we want the loop to execute once anyway to get the password in the first place. We need the, the loop to execute once without checking the condition so that the user has a chance to enter the password and then we'd be able to do away with this stuff. Let's see how that would work. So we'll change this to a do while. We'll say do, open the curly bracket, close the curly bracket. The condition, I'm just going to copy from there and that goes after the do here. And then Within here, so I need, the, I need the while keyword as well, before the condition at the end. And within these brackets, we're going to say, enter your password, and we're going to get the input. Let's copy this and paste it in. Just do format there, auto format. And um, then, then we're going to have to check to see if the input is um, incorrect. I'm going to have to check again because we want to output a message if it's not correct. Let's say while in, uh, if input is not equal to password. I'm kind of going through this fairly rapidly, but I'm going to just go over it again in a minute. Then we can say access denied. So it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but now we can get rid of all this stuff and we can get rid of this. Now the string we actually have to declare um, up here because if we declare it in here, we couldn't access it here. So um, let's, let's get rid of this one. And I think this looks like a good program. Let's go to project, build project, and run it and check that it works. 
So now, well, um, I'm not seeing any output here. But I should do, right? It looks good. Oh, yeah, I've got to get rid of this as well. Apologies. Yeah, let's, sorry, the CN, let's get rid of that. And I'm just using uh, Command D, or I think it's Control D in Windows to delete a blank line there, which is quite a handy shortcut. Okay, let's let's run this, see if this works. Yes. And um, I'm gonna enter, let's try entering the right password immediately so it works, and let's try giving it some bad passwords. Access denied, access denied, access denied. Hello, password accepted. So by using the do while loop, we've we've avoided duplicating um, some code. And so just, just to quickly take this from the top, so we've got our password constant here. Then we, we declare a string, which we're gonna to use to get input. And then we enter the do while block. So this is gonna execute at least once. And um, the first thing it does is say enter your password. Then it gets the password. Then it checks to see if the password is wrong. And the reason for that is um, I, I don't see how we can avoid having an extra little check in here because we just need to output this message saying access denied if the password's wrong. If the password is wrong, then this condition is true. Input is not equal to password. And then we'll go, we're gonna do the loop again. And we're gonna keep doing that as long as this condition is not true. If the condition's false, then it, it would only execute the loop once. If it's um, immediately false, if the password is correct, after, the, after we've output this the first time, then um, we wouldn't repeat the loop. But every time that this is, is true, we are gonna do that loop again. And when we finally get the right password, we will then leave the loop. So if we do all this stuff and the user finally types the right password, and this is then false, input not equal to password is false, because it is equal, then finally we say password accepted. So um, to practice this, um, I'd recommend doing pretty much what I've done in the video because that's, that's really good practice. First, just create a really simple do while loop, make up an example with an integer or whatever, and just check that you can get that to work. Um, you might find that you forget the semicolon or you, you get something in the wrong place, so get it working. And then I'd recommend trying to write this program just um, using a while loop and see how that works. It's really good practice. Write a program that asks for the user's password and keeps asking until they finally give, give, give you the right one and do that using a normal while loop. Then change it to do while and uh, see how much of that extra code you can get rid of. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. I'm not sure what we're gonna look at in the, in the next one. There's loads still to do possibly the, the switch statement or something, but, but we'll see. Okay, so join me again next time, and until then, happy coding.